Hello YouTuber, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a very important video. I am going to explain to you, hopefully most of you know this information, but I have a feeling that most don't. And being that there is over 70 million people in the United States that currently receive Social Security benefits, man, I'll tell you what, I feel very sorry for all of those that are receiving Social Security benefits and or are on a fixed income. On this video, I am going to explain to you as simply as I can how it is that every single year, if you're on Social Security or a fixed income with no other supplemental income, ladies and gentlemen, the system is pretty much dooming you. You are pretty much doomed when it comes to how much poorer you become year after year because of what the government does and the Federal Reserve does to steal your purchasing power. So stand by because this is going to be very enlightening to you. I'm going to go ahead and start off with an analogy ladies and gentlemen. I was watching uh, I Allegedly and the host of the YouTube channel I Allegedly is, is Dan. His name is Dan. Very very nice gentleman and extremely entertaining but at the same time giving you facts of the things that are going on with our economy and pretty much the world right he, he just pretty much gets it to you in a snapshot of what's going on and then leaves it up to you to do your own research so I, I highly recommend that channel if you have not subscribed to it go check it out but he used the analogy of of comparing the Federal Reserve and the government to the movie Jaws right and I think that everyone here uh, has probably seen the movie Jaws, a very famous movie about a big scary shark. Right? And in recent videos or even previous videos you'll have noticed that I tell you that the government will tell you that everything is okay until the end. Everything is okay until it's too late for you to go out there and fix it yourself that way you can protect yourself and your family before it all fa falls apart. So if you remember this movie, and forgive me, I don't remember the names very well of the movie, all right, because I'm kind of senile, but if you remember this movie, you had a chief. I think his name was Chief Brody, and he's out there telling the mayor of, I think it's Amity, all right, Little Island, he's out there telling the mayor, listen, mayor, you have to shut down the beaches because there's a huge shark out there, and it's already killed some people. And the only thing that the mayor can think about is... We can't shut down the beaches. That's going to ruin our summer. We're not going to be able to survive economically if we shut down the beaches. And he comes up with every excuse and uses every executive power that he has as mayor in order to keep the beaches open, even though he knows that the beach is not safe, or more than likely that the waters are not safe. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And Chief Brody, he is people like, let me see, Jeremiah Babe is one of the people that I follow who is out there every day telling you this economy is going down. It's already gone down. You got people like Peter Schiff who's been saying it for years. Even Michael Burry, Dr. Michael Burry, who's a famous investor and a medical doctor as well, just happens to be, who's been saying it as well for years. This economy is going down. Protect yourself now. I listen to people like Ray Dalio, who's a famous hedge fund owner. I think he owns uh, the largest hedge fund that there is. Ms. Lynette Zhang. Uh, uh, Joe Brown is another channel that I watch a lot. Very, very smart young man. And I'll call him young man because he's a lot younger than I am. And even Michael from uh, Rethinking the Dollar. These are all YouTube channels that I follow of people that actually know what's going on. These are your chief brodies. And even this ugly mug right here is a Chief Brody if you want to look at it that way because I've been talking about this for years but we are all Cassandras until we are not ladies and gentlemen and the Federal Reserve is the mayor of Amity he is the mayor of the US telling everyone everything is going to be alright until it's not well I want to go ahead and take a few minutes to bore you to death <laughs> and the reason I say that is because we're gonna to go to a spreadsheet that I developed 
in order to show you exactly how it is that if you are in a fixed income, specifically Social Securities, because that's what I pulled the numbers from with Social Security, that every single year, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how good they make it sound, you are becoming poorer. Now, from what I understand, Social Security was passed in order to protect the elderly. And now what it is doing is the exact opposite. Instead of allowing you to retire with dignity and to assist you or supplement your retirement income, now is allowing you to become poorer and poorer every year. So I went ahead and figured, what's the average age of a person in the United States today? I didn't look this up, but I figure probably about 80, 85, right? You know, your average grandma and grandpa nowadays with the technologies that we have and with the medical system that we have, probably lives to around age 80, 85 on average, right? So I figured 20 years of Social Security is what the average person is going to collect before they, they meet their maker, right? Before they're deceased, before they leave this earth in the physical form. So I want to show you how it is that even though they make it sound so great that this year in 2022, every Social Security recipient got an increase cost of living allowance added to their social security of I believe it was 5.9 percent but we call it six percent just to make it easy that even though this is the largest social security cost of living allowance increase that they've ever had that you are still becoming poorer and poorer and there's only one reason behind it and it's because of the Federal Reserve and the policies that are passed by the government that is the only reason, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go ahead and show you that right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the boring part, okay? But please follow along because this is extremely important. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, the stock market is the only avenue pretty much that is left for those that are on a fixed income to try to keep up with inflation. All right. I don't see very many 70 year olds out there buying Bitcoin and things like that. But in my opinion, the stock market is even worse because it is 100 percent manipulated. And not only that, if the Federal Reserve wants the stock market to go up, it's going to go up. If it wants it to go down, it's going to go down. But eventually, ladies and gentlemen, I've always stated that nature will one day determine what the free market cost or what the free market price is and there's nothing that the Federal Reserve or the government will be able to do when that day comes and that's where your demise will come because although you're getting poor every year there will come a day when your fixed income will be worth nothing to include myself I am on a fixed income from a pension from the military and one day I see that income continuing to rise, but its purchasing power continuing to fall. So we're going to start over here where it says Social Security benefit, $1,658, all right? That's the number we discussed. So if we take that as a starting number, and let's say, for example, all right, we're going to use an extreme case, all right? Because this year at 6%, it was the largest increase that's ever been done for Social Security. Right, the largest increase. So we're going to say that the Federal Reserve will do that every single year. All right, ladies and gentlemen. But what people don't understand in general is that it doesn't matter what kind of a percentage increase you get. What really matters is what real percentage increase you get. What is the real increase? And what I mean about that is what is the real purchasing power of your money after that increase? And for that, we have to do a little bit of math, which I've already done for you. All you have to do is follow along. So let's say that next year as well, starting in 2023, the Federal Reserve says, or the government says that you're going to get a 6% increase again. Okay, so every year, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to get a 6% increase in your Social Security benefits from now for the next 20 years. All right, so you just hit the jackpot. So next year, you're going to get an increase up to $1,757. So you're going from 
1658 to 1757 that's almost a hundred dollars just shy of a hundred dollars some people would say hey that's not bad but this is the problem how many of you really think that inflation and what people know inflation to be in general is how much the price of living is going up how many of you really think that inflation is only eight percent right that's the number that the government is giving us all right historically it's been two or less than two percent per the government numbers but how many of you think that that's true all right so here the government and the federal reserve act as the mayor of amity and tell you hey everything's great inflation is low don't have anything to worry about but here i am ladies and gentlemen and all of those other uh, people that i aforementioned telling you no everything's not great get out of the water so let's say that inflation is at eight percent and and i believe it's a lot higher than that and if you go shopping then you know it's a lot higher than that if you purchase gasoline you know it's a lot higher than that if you send your kids to college you know it's a lot higher than that if you've tried to buy a used car or a new car you know it's a lot higher than that if you have medical bills, you know it's a lot higher than that. Get what I'm talking about here, ladies and gentlemen, as far as saying that the numbers that they give you are pretty much lies, right? So inflation this year so far is at 8%, 7.9%, we'll call it 8%, which means what? Which means that although you're receiving a 6% increase in your fixed income, you're still losing out on 2%. Things are still costing you 2% more than they did last year because you received a 6% increase. So if you do the math, and I'm trying to break this down as simple as possible, so please forgive me. I'm not trying to insult anyone's intelligence. I just want to make sure that every single person can understand what I'm saying, even if it's a child. If a child can understand it, then pretty much anyone can understand it. All right. So since inflation is at 8%, and you're only receiving 6% increase on your fixed income, then you're still shy 2%. Meaning that the $1,757 that you are now getting is still not enough to buy you the same amount of stuff that the $1,658 you received last year could buy you. So the $1,658 that you received last year, what that could buy you really takes $1,790. So you're still $33 a month shy on what you need just to break even as far as being able to maintain the same standard of living that you maintained last year. And look at how it gets you poorer over time. Because if you take a look at these numbers, these are some great numbers right here. You know, a 6% increase every year for the next 20 years. You know, by the time that you know, by the time that your 20 years are up, you went from getting $1,658 a year all the way to $5,317 a year. So that's more than three times what you started with. How can you not be doing better? Well, ladies and gentlemen, inflation steals all of that away. Meaning that if this year at $1,658, you can buy a thousand hot dogs, this year you could buy less than a thousand hot dogs because those hot dogs are going up in price at a higher rate than what you are being compensated for your cost of living. So by the time that you know it, once you're done with all of these years of getting ripped off by inflation, and here's the ripoff, here's the part that they don't tell you about. I call it the delta or the difference, but this is the part that they don't tell you about. This is the part that the mayor of Amity doesn't tell you about and this is the part the most important part of the equation that all of us chief Brodies are trying to tell you about this is the part the difference the difference between the cost of living adjustment or increase on your social security or fixed income and the cost of inflation that is the real inflation this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the real inflation. So while the government is telling you there's nothing to worry about, here's some more money, you're not never getting enough. You'll never get enough. And you will become poorer and poorer every single year. Yes, but AP, 
You're telling me what the problem is, but what can we do to fix it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I'm not sure because the system is so broken that I'm not sure that anything that they do to try to fix it will fix it. It will just allow it to collapse faster. People can gamble in the stock market if they want to, but what happens if you gamble in the stock market with your retirement when you're 62 and you're set to retire at 65? Do you really think that taking a 50, 60, 70 percent loss, do you really think you'll be able to recover that in two or three years? You know, by the time that you're ready to retire? I don't know. All I know is that it didn't work out very good for people back in 1929 during the Great Crash that started the Great Depression. I know that it didn't work out for a lot of people back in 2000 during the dot-com bust. I know that it didn't work out for millions of families back in 2008. I would say that you need to change the way that you vote, but even now I think that's not enough because we are not represented by our vote, ladies and gentlemen. We vote politicians in who say they're going to do this and this and that, and they always change what it is that they said they were going to do. In my opinion, if 70 million of you went out there and voted and said, no, we need to do this right, we need to get it right, then we could be getting it right, but it would take so much pain that I guarantee you that you don't want that pain. That all you want is your social security check and your pension, whatever it is, so that you can live your life in peace. But ladies and gentlemen, can you live your life in peace when every single year you are being robbed legally? You are legally being robbed. Why? Because the federal government and the Federal Reserve pretty much have made it legal to steal the wealth from the American people. And those that are hurt the most are you. People that are on a fixed income that don't have a way to supplement their income. So what I say is this, you would need to supplement your income. But who wants to do that in the twilight years of their lives? Who wants to go ahead and get a second job or get a side hustle or do some kind of gig here or there to earn a few extra dollars to get by after they've already spent their entire lives working? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. But the only way that change will come about that's meaningful, in my opinion, is when this all falls apart. And eventually it will. So here's the message. You are being stolen from on a daily basis. Not only you on fixed incomes, but everyone is. The wealth is being transferred from you to a very small number of people. And eventually this system will cease to exist. It will collapse. So are you preparing? Are you preparing for that? Because even if you're on a fixed income, you can prepare for that. Having said that, man, I'll tell you what, I really hope that this at least woke up one or two of you. I know I'm not very good at articulating uh, the message that I have most of the time, ladies and gentlemen, but my goal is this. My goal is that you will take one or two words that I said and that that one or two words, it could be a different word for different people, can maybe motivate some of you to do a little bit of research. To understand that what I'm telling you here is that even though the government says it's giving you something, that it's really taking something from you. When they say, hey, I'm giving you this 6%, first of all, they don't have it to give. The government makes nothing, nothing. They make nothing of value. Think about that. How can an entity that makes nothing of value give you something? It's easy because they already took it from someone else. And more than likely, that's everyone. They've taken it from everyone. I'll finish off with this last little rant. How did the stimulus work out? All right, couple years back, not only me, many other people, probably to include every single person that I just mentioned earlier on in the video, was saying this stimulus is going to come back to bite you because whatever they give you, you're going to pay back tenfold. How much is the price of gas? How much is the price of everything? It's a lot more than the 5.9% that they're giving you. A lot more, ladies and gentlemen, and 
this is just the beginning. The party hasn't even started. And in the end, it will be them that are laughing. And we, the people that they are supposed to represent, that are down on our luck, that find ourselves in the streets, that find ourselves trying to feed our family on whatever kind of income we can, can find. There's people working two, three jobs, just trying to keep food on the table. I can go through all of the statistics with you, right? But you already know them. You know, 65% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. 70% of Americans don't have four or $500 in the bank. You know, 60% of Americans, if they had a flat tire tomorrow, they couldn't get to work. All that kind of stuff. You know, we can go on and on. But just remember that it is you that is being stolen from. It is you that is being stolen from so that the big cats can have their $200 million yachts. Having said that, I truly hope that you got something out of this. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I am out.